Hello everyone and welcome to At America TV. My name is James, one of the e-guides here at At America and we welcome our audience members joining us online. We hope that you guys are doing well and staying safe. At America is the United States Embassy's American Center and our mission is to provide a space for young Indonesians to learn more about the United States. In this episode, we'll be having Metropolitan Toastmasters enjoy the summer. But before we begin, I have here a question of the day for everyone. Question is... What is a synonym for letter? There's several options. Is it option A, doctrine, B, missive, C, premonition, or D, salvage? Stay tuned until the end of this program because we'll be giving a live shout out to who I can answer correctly on our social medias. I'd also like to let everyone know that as continuation of Ed America's 10th year anniversary, we are handing out vouchers for TOEFL and an American standardized test of your choice. Stay tuned until the end of this program to find out how to get them. Other than that, don't forget to take a selfie and tag at America's Instagram account. And now, without further ado, I'd like to invite the president of Metropolitan Toastmasters Club, Attila Salsabila. But Attila, the stage is yours. All right. Thank you so much, uh, James, for, for the opening. What a very nice question for opening the session. So, well, you guys can also participate to answer the questions through the comment section of uh, at America's media channel. So good evening, my fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. How are you going, guys? Uh, maybe you can unmute your voice so I can hear your awesome spirit. How are you? Great. I'm great. Hey. We're good. Hi. Thank you. So good. I'm so, okay. so proud for this today. My Okay, so good. I hope everything is well with you and your family. So stay safe and sane during this uh, during this pandemic still. Okay, so I am Atila, the president of Metropolitan Toastmasters Club. I am so delighted to welcome all of you uh, in our meeting tonight with at America. It's uh, our first meeting back again with at America. It's been a while, so I hope you enjoy the meeting. For those of you who have not been. Uh, here before, so Toastmasters International actually is a U.S. is a U.S. headquartered nonprofit organization, a place to learn public speaking, to improve your communication skill, and also to build your leadership skill. Uh, our Toastmasters of the meeting today will explain it more detail later. Of course, you will gain so much more benefits in joining Toastmasters. So without further ado, uh, by, the, by the sound of this clap, I hereby open the meeting and give my control to our Toastmasters of the meeting as the MC of the session, Toastmasters Christopher. All right. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Attila, for today. Uh, yes, welcome our brother and sister. We're so happy for tonight because what? We have a summer fight. And this month is the end of the summer. And don't be forgotten about that. Uh, firstly, I would like to uh, thank for Art America because help us to facilitate this meeting and running this event. Yes. All right. The next, we continue this session now. All right. Uh, next screen. Okay. For here, I will serve as uh, our postmaster of the meeting. And firstly, I want to introduction, introduce our executive committee for this year. And there are seven people. And then if you have some necessity, both or uh, all of you could uh, call us or find us on WhatsApp or Instagram, all right? We move to the next scene. Let me explain what is Toastmaster briefly. Toastmaster is an international nonprofit organization or community that will help us to increase our soft skill, public speaking, and our leadership skills. Yes, we know everybody has some anxiety, uh, maybe some uh, self less about uh, worry about the self-confidence and then communication and etc but no problem Toastmaster here to help us to overcome this 
problem. All right. And then don't forget that we have several benefits if we join with Toastmaster. Maybe I could explain further about the Toastmaster. All right, help me uh, move to the next scene. All right. We have several uh, advantages if we join with Toastmaster. The first one is, yes, so sure, definitely we could increase our yeah, boost up our communication skill. And then beside of that, don't forget that organization skill is also important. And then, yes, we will enrich our networking. And then yeah, we have new point of view. And then, yes, the most important one, we will have fun. This is sure because of what? Toastmaster is our second hub. So our brother and sister just assume that Toastmaster is our second home and everyone or anybody come to the meeting, please don't be awkward. And yes, think about us is your brother and sister or our family. Yes. All right, we move to the next. Hmm. This is the important one. If we join in the Toastmaster, we got some any curriculum and that our uh, emphasis uh, 11 special pathway and then it will be running with five levels for its pathway. Then if we running this project, there are our 14 project that you should accomplish that. Yes, but luckily, with this project, step by step, we will increase our soft skills. That, right? Next, all right. Uh, for tonight, this uh, tonight meeting, we have three main agenda. The first one is table topic session, and the second one, prepare speech session, and continue with the last session is evaluation session, and then. We hope uh, our brother and sister please enjoy this three session because it is very intriguing and then it will make us so curious about our meeting tonight. All right. Okay. Move to the next. Yes. We know that we have time for this meeting. Our meeting time is about summer. Yes, summer. I love summer. Yeah. Even though Indonesian have a dry season, but don't worry that about that. Please assume that this is summer for this August. And then our word of the day is leisure. Yeah. Why is leisure? Leisure meaning is free time. For the example, most people know and just shorting working, working hours and more leisure time, right? Yes, next. Correct, correct. I almost almost forgot. I won't be, I will not serve this meeting alone. I have server crew and then it will uh, assisted by our junior operator, Toastmaster Attila. Please help me to explain our crew. Okay, thank you so much, Toastmaster Christopher. Back again with me. Okay, so by this meet in this meeting, I will be serving also as your general evaluator. So for so for uh, for you that has not been familiar yet with what is general evaluator. So basically, in Toastmasters, we have a evaluation session. So general evaluator is someone who will be lead the session of evaluation. So I will be noting down uh, what. What, uh, what things that already good in our meeting and what things must be improved on the next meeting. So during this session, I will not be alone. I have my team with me. There is Grammarian, there is INWOD, Timer, and Ballot Counter. So for know them better, uh, it's better that I, I will call them one by one. So for, for, uh, for, for explaining the role. So uh, at the first, I will call 
our grammarian, Toastmasters Mutia. So, Toastmasters Mutia, uh, the time is yours to explain uh, your role. Thank you. Thank you, GE, and good, good evening, fellow Toastmasters. I am Mutia from the Pediatric Deputy Toastmasters Club. Today, I will be assisting as your grammarian. So, my responsibility is to pay close attention to all speakers of the English usage, and I will also take notes of the English misuses for the entire sessions so that in the end we will learn more about the grammar. Thank you, GE. Okay, thank you so much, Toastmaster Mutia. So everyone, uh, you will be uh, later on, Toastmaster Mutia will will be uh, giving uh, tonight a class for our English so we can improve better. Okay, so moving on to our next role, which is ANWOD, who will be Toastmaster Hugo. So, uh, so okay, so please help me welcome Toastmaster Hugo. Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Atila. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. Good evening, uh, my fellow Toastmaster and soon to be Toastmaster. My name is Hugo, and tonight I will be your AH and WOD counter. It means that while you're speaking or doing some speech, I will listen to you carefully, and then I will count how many times you say AH, mm, or any other long pauses. And also tonight we have word of the day that is leisure. Once again, leisure. So please remember for all of you speakers and evaluators as well, please uh, put that word of the day in your speech. Because at the end of meeting, I will report it to you. I think that's all. And back to you, Toastmaster Atila. Okay, thank you so much, Toastmaster Hugo. So everyone, please be mine. Our word of the day today, leisure. So later on, Toastmaster Hugo will be counted uh, how many words that you spoke later. Anyway, Toastmasters Hugo is our new member in Metropolitan Toastmasters mm -hmm. who just joined us um, last month, yeah, Toastmaster Hugo. So yeah, for those of you who might be curious what is Toastmasters and how to be, uh, how to be a member, later on uh, we have our membership who can, uh, who can directly answer your question. So welcome again, Toastmaster Hugo. Hope you enjoy and can learn and can absorb many things in Metropolitan Toastmaster Club. Thank you. So, Good luck with us. <laughs> okay. So uh, the third role, our timer, who is our immediate past president, Toastmaster Astri. Uh, please help me welcome Toastmaster Astri. Okay. Good evening, my fellow Toastmasters and soon to be Toastmasters. Long time no see. <laughs> Yeah. And thank you for welcoming me, <laughs> Toastmaster Atila. Okay, so in Toastmasters, every session has a predefined time limit for the speakers. As a timer, it is my duty to let speakers be aware of their time uh, for their time when they are on the stage. So as uh, Toastmaster Christopher already said that in in this meeting there are uh, three sections. Uh, table topic, uh, prepared speech, and evaluation. So I will help you, all speakers, uh, to to remember uh, how much the time you have. For table topic section, the time allotted is one until two minutes. So I will change my background to be green in one minute. One minute, 30 seconds for yellow, and two minutes for red. And for the prepaid speech section, the time allotted is five until seven minutes. So today we have two speakers. Uh, please pin my Zoom and see my screen that uh, five minutes for green, six minutes for yellow, and seven minutes for red. And the last section is evaluation, and the time allotted is two until three minutes. For, so two minutes for green, uh, two minutes, 30 seconds for yellow, and three minutes for red. And all speakers in all sections have 30 seconds for wrap up their speech. And I hope all speakers try to be within their allotted time limit, and I will be 
back with my report towards at the end of the meeting. I think that's all from me as a timer. Back to you, Toastmaster Atila. All right. Thank you so much for a very uh, detailed explanation, Toastmaster Astri. So everyone, before your speech, don't forget to pin Toastmaster Astri as our timer so you will be more aware with your time remaining. So, okay, we are moving on to our last role, uh, which is Ballot Counter, who will be Toastmasters Dini, our visiting Toastmasters member for, from Malang Toastmasters Club. So the Zoom is yours, Toastmasters Dini. Thank you so much. But before that, I would like to give disclaimer that I cannot turn on my video because my connection <laughs> cannot support it. So basically, as the ballot counter, I will collect your vote to vote the best speaker, tabletop, best table topic speaker, and also best evaluator. So later on, whenever the timer give the time report, I will give you the vote, the poll for the eligible speakers only. So don't forget to cast your vote, and then I will give you my report at the end of our meeting. Thank you so much, General Evaluator. Back to you. Okay, thank you so much, Toastmaster Dini. So everyone, please uh, give your food later to Toastmaster Dini. So I think that's all from my team and we'll be giving the control back to our Toastmasters of the meeting, Toastmasters Christopher. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Attila. All right, everyone. I think we should start our vacation now because this weather is getting hotter and this summer we have high temperature. All right, this first session more different. It's most wanted and it's more fun because it is summer and let's enjoy our summer. But because uh, before we swimming more deeper, please help us to ask Toastmaster Wita to teach us how to swim well in this summer. Toastmaster Wita, the screen is yours. Hello, everyone. How is everyone this evening? I hope everyone is all right. So for this session, uh, this, is so, this is a fun and important session, especially for guests. Everyone can join. Uh, so, uh, but for guests, um, I recommend you to join this because this is so fun. Uh, first off, if you don't know what a top table topic session is like, um, have you guys ever seen a, a pageant show? Miss Universe, Miss World, or Miss Indonesia? It's just like that. When you're a contestant, you are walking up to the front of the stage, and then you got to pick one uh, question randomly, and then the host will read it, and you can speak your opinion about it. Uh, is it an agree or disagree? can be anything or you can just like tell um, anything that has a topic in it so without further ado let's start Oops. okay who will be my first volunteer to do the session can I see guests who wants to try? We have many guests today, Toastmaster Suita. You may yes, pick I one see. of them. I believe that they really want to try, but still confused what is table topic station. <laughs> yeah, like I said before, imagine you're a Miss World contestant, and this time you are representing your country to speak the world, to give a Two to three, uh, I'm sorry, one, one to two minutes uh, speech to the whole world. I see a lot of new names here. We have Ola, Dwinta, maybe one to try, or Maya Trainer. Uh, we also have our immediate past president also. Hello, Toastmaster Clarissa. Clarissa wants to try, maybe. Yes, Toastmaster Clarissa, would you like to try? Hello, Toastmaster Clarissa, it's been a while. Yes, you are audible right now. Hi. Hi. Sorry. 
Hi everyone. Uh, Hi. I would like to give a try. Would you like to try? I'm sorry. Yeah. Which number? Which number? Let me see the screen. Okay, so let's try number three, probably. Number three. Okay. Mm. Let's go for a road trip. It's an 11 hour long trip to reach your next destination. What activities would you do to pass the time? Oh, so, great Sasha, question. Larissa, the, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, the Zoom is yours. Okay, who is here, you know, getting bored of staying at home for almost two months and probably three months, four months, I don't know, but let's imagine that we're going to a road trip for like 11 hours. Oh my God, I'm so excited because one of the best activities that I would like to do is doing a road trip. What will I do? Probably I will listen to a song. I will you know, choose a Spotify with, uh, with a playlist, road trip songs. And I do have that on my Spotify playlist, which I really love to listen to it. And I would like to sing along. You know, I have this kind of not a singer voice, but I don't care. I mean, like, if you're, if you're on a road trip with our friends who we'll have to care with our not so beautiful voice. And then the most exciting part is uh, it's, getting to the rest point area you know having those coffees and then having those snacks and then take a while have a break and for the rest of the trip you know just having a long chat with your friends and of course we have to have a best partner to do a road trip because if we have if we choose the wrong partner i mean the road trip the whole 11 hours will be just a boring or you know might be a fight or whatever <laughs> But anything well anyway that's what will i do if i went if i go for a road trip for 11 hours thank you thank you toastmaster clarissa i would definitely agree with you i would set up a, a spotify playlist to accompany me throughout the whole trip okay for the next session for the next question who would want to try don't be shy guys it's we don't bite there is no right or wrong we are all we are all learning here toastmaster fatma wita toastmaster fatma okay which number would you like toastmaster fatma yes i would like to choose number seven number seven okay mm -hmm. this is summer will you be serving the internet or the waves your choice Toastmaster Fatma, the Zoom is yours. This summer, I will definitely be surfing the internet because it is still the COVID-19 situation. I cannot just go out anytime or any day or during the weekend because I believe that by staying at home, I, I'm not only uh, keeping myself safe, but also the people around me. If it's really, really urgent, then I might go outside. But for now, because it's still pandemic situation, we still have the PPKM level three, four, and then a lot of PPKM thing in Jakarta. So I, I will, I'm sure that I will not uh, serve the waves, even though I would love to if I can. But yeah, I will mostly spend my time serving the internet, whether it is just to learn some online courses or just to have Toastmasters meeting on and off, and then also to chat with a lot of different people. And yeah, just do a lot of things online because we pretty much can do a lot of things online, right? Like, for example, now we have at America in our Toastmasters meeting, which is really awesome. So yeah, I think I will definitely, definitely serve the internet during this summer. Well, we pretty much have the summer all year long in Indonesia, but yeah, that's what I do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Toastmaster Fatma. <laughs> if I could, I would definitely want to surf the wave, the ocean too, but unfortunately for now, we have to stay to surf the internet. <laughs> okay, for the next number, uh, we have Toastmaster Ish Ishrak Ishraki. Toastmaster Ishraki, which number would you choose? Sorry. Um.
Toastmaster Ishraki. All right. Three uh, and seven are taken. Yes, I will choose number eight. Number eight. Yeah. Okay. The pandemic never happened. Where are you now? And what are you doing this summer? Toastmaster Ishraki, the Zoom is yours. Whenever you are ready. All right. If the pandemic never happened, where are am now? Maybe I will say in Bali, enjoying the the beach club, and then uh, talk talk to more uh, talk to more native speaker there, and then build the networking with any any native speaker and maybe I will build another beach club and enjoy the vibe the, while I living in Bali and maybe also I will have a family there with the Balinese enjoy enjoy the enjoy the vibe of Bali and what is it maybe i will always come to the beach every morning and then every afternoon to enjoy the sunrise and the sunset i think that's all thank you so much Thank you, Toastmaster Ishraki. I would be very agree with you. I would definitely want to be in Bali right now instead of the polluted Jakarta. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, for the next session, we have Toastmaster, uh, Toastmaster Agung. Wait, let me share the screen. Toastmaster Agung, the number three, seven, and eight are taken. Which one would you like to choose? Toastmaster Agung. All right. Okay. So, uh, mm -hmm. number one. Number one, okay. Yeah. Under the 40 degree sun, the perfect time to do a summer picnic. Where will you go? What will you bring? And who you go with? Are you ready? Yes, ready. Okay. The Zoom is yours. Okay, and during the summer, uh, under the 40 degree sun, okay. Basically, I'm, I'm not the one who really loves the heat. Uh, but I, I love I love beach. But uh, when it's under the 40 degrees, I mean, uh, it's it's hot. Uh, I would go to the mountain actually to uh, get the fresh air, to maybe uh, to build a camp, a, a tent for a camping, and then doing doing the barbecue dinner, and then uh, chat, uh, hang out with with friends. Uh, that is what I want to do during the summer time and all the leisure time because uh, it is. The time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I would like to spend my time with my family, not only my friend, because uh, this is the boring time for me uh, with my family. Because uh, when I mean when there is no pandemic, uh, we will not have a very uh, quality time because I will work to. I will go to work. I will be busy with my own time. Yeah, that stuff. And uh, if I have a chance to choose and freedom to choose the, uh, to the to go to the beach i will be going to bali or lombok because two years ago i went to lombok but it's very it was very short and i didn't uh, i didn't um, spend my time very well there so i would go i would like to lombok enjoy the beach and uh, going to gili so yeah that is my uh, that is my uh, planning if I have the leisure time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Agung. I hope you will 
come to Lombok, Lombok or Bali very soon because I know you deserve it despite all the work that you have done during this PPKM time, right? <laughs> okay, for the next one, we have Toastmaster Hans. Yes, I'm here. Toastmaster Hans, there is number two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, five, and six, that is. Okay, I would like to have number four. Number four. Sorry. A hot air balloon trip. Would you go on one? Are you ready, Toastmaster Hans? Hmm. I need to conduct the reason first, yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. 30 seconds. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Okay, the Zoom is yours. Hot air balloon trip. Would I try? To be honest, I've never tried it before, so it will be an exciting experience to have it. Because I really like the airspace, and we can enjoy the beautiful scenery from the high altitude. And of course, it will be much better if we do it with people that we love, perhaps our friends, groups, or even our spouse, to enjoy the scenery from far above. Perhaps it will be a little bit thrilling too because we experience the high altitude. It flies slowly. And we rely on the hot air inside the balloon. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. But it will be an exciting experience. Although in terms of aerial experience, personally, I will choose some kind of paragliding compared to hot air balloon. But I've never tried those things previously. <laughs> I just tried to mention. But if I have a chance, of course, I will take it. That's from me. Back to our table topic, Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Hans. I would definitely want to go uh, on a hot air balloon too, even though it's kind of really high and the wind must be so crazy up there, but I think it's worth a try. Okay, we still have three more questions. Uh, does any guest here who wants to try? Maybe soon to be Toastmaster Fabin or soon to be Toastmaster Ola, soon to be Toastmaster Fioni, or any member who wants to try. We still have three. It's very exciting. Mita, perhaps Pa Swamin Taya wants to try. Oh, Hello, okay. Pa. Number, number one. Would you like to try? Okay, number one. Yeah. Okay. Let me share my screen. Number one. Oh, sorry, the number one is taken. We have the number two, three, sorry, two, okay. five, and six. Num number two, please. Number two, okay. Tell us your favorite rides and most scary ones in an amusement park. Tell us your favorite rides and the most scary ones in an amusement park. Are you oh. ready? Those masters yeah. Swamin Thai? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the Zoom um. is yours. Uh, maybe, maybe if this amusement park, there is uh, with, I mean, something scary. One, I mean, like ghost or something like like that. I will, I will be prefer to. I will prefer to visit uh, this place because uh, for me it is something terrifying. But I'm not sure whether in the amusement park there is uh, something uh, challenging like that. I mean, to 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 make us scared. I mean, to make us uh, so frightened. So I think. Uh, I, I prefer to enter into the water in the dark jungle 
and then I can find there uh, many things to see. Uh, like, uh, yes, it uh, goes or careful or, or skeleton or something like that. Uh, that is uh, something that's challenging for me. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster. Welcome to be Toastmaster Swaminsaya. We still have two more questions. Maybe any visiting Toastmasters who wants to try. I see there is visiting Toastmaster Karina, or maybe our Toastmaster uh, Daisy who wants to try. There is two more. Or soon to be Toastmaster Sharon Herlambang. Maybe you want to try to share your uh, summer experience based on our table topic question. It's very easy, guys. Anyone else? Maybe our new member, Toastmaster Hugo. Want yeah, to Toastmaster Hugo, maybe you want to try. Is it possible? I am the one who calmed the... Ah, and W, right? It's all right. I, I can count your filler words and the WOD. Oh my God. Okay. I will uh, take the chance. Okay. Well, which number would you like? There is five and six. I'll choose number five. Number five. Number five. Oh, sorry. Why is it kept? Okay, it's summer. You and your friends would go on a no phone for 24 hour challenge. What activities would you guys do during the time without phone and internet? Master Hugo, are you ready? Okay. Okay, the Zoom is yours. Well, uh, when summertime and we don't have any phones or internet to do, I will choose to go to hiking because what? Because when you are hiking, you don't you when you are doing some hiking to go to the mountain with your friends, you don't have to use your phone or internet because when you do hiking, you will see the beautiful scenery. So you will be forgetting about your phone and your social media. And I have an, another experience regarding uh, going to the mountain because uh, last, uh, last summer, I have visited uh, Bromo Mountain, you know. Bromo Mountain is located in East Java and the scenery there was very beautiful. So I recommend you, if you don't have phone or internet, to do, I suggest you to go to the mountain and feel the vibes, feel the scenery, and just enjoy the time. I think that's all I can see and explain it about my summer time and back to you, Toastmaster Wita. Thank you, Toastmaster Hugo. That is such an exciting experience when you have no phone or internet around you. Go to hiking. It's very nice, guys, to connect with the nature. For once, we are away from our phone and internet. <laughs> okay, for the last one, we have soon to be Toastmaster Ola. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, good, good. Okay, let's go to the last question. I'm sorry. It's summer camp. Imagine yourself as a 12-year-old all over again. Describe how exciting your summer camp is. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Okay. Uh, okay. The Zoom is yours. Thank you. Mm, I, I, I forgot how how it felt to be a 12 years old i mean it's like years ago this year i just turned 27 this year and it's crazy to think how time flies uh oh my god 
uh, I uh, I never had to, I never went to the summer camp before, but I think the closest one is when I had several sleepovers uh, with uh, my friends back in the elementary school. We just had lots of snacks and video games until uh, midnight. <laughs> back then when we used to go to sleep at 8 uh, p.m., Uh, when we go to sleep uh, after that after that hours, it seems like it's a very exciting thing to do. We just had a lot of snacks. We we are chit chatting, talk about boys at school. <laughs> it's crazy. I the thing that the 12 year old talk about uh, boys and stuff like that at school. Yeah, I think that's all for me. Uh, thank you for the change back to the Toastmasters. Okay, thank you to, to be Toastmaster Ola. I can definitely relate to you because we, when we are all doing a, a sleepover when we are kids, we would stay up late and watching movies and talk about boys. <laughs> okay, that is, that is the end of the session. Before we move on to the next session, I would like to ask our timer uh, is our uh, all speakers qualified to be voted yes they are qualified all speakers are qualified to be voted okay um so now send your favorite table topic speaker directly to our ballot counter that is toastmaster dini you can message her privately on the room room chat Thank you, and I will give the control back to Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Christopher. Okay. Thank you, Thomas. Toastmaster Wita. Uh, while we wait, one, uh, the next session, we have one minute of silence to uh, have your thought, who is your best type of topic speaker, All right? And then, don't forget, put your chat preferred to our ballot. All right, I think that's enough for the minutes of silence. And the sun, the sunset is getting brighter and the so dazzling. So uh, please wear a sun. We put uh, wear some glass uh, glasses. All right, we move to the next session. All right, the next session is a prepared speech, and then it's all right. It's same as a more fun and really meant as learning and trying to exercise and practice or practice our listening session, our listening skills, all right? Um, okay, for the first speaker, we have Toastmaster Fatma would deliver her speech, and then she will be effort by Toastmaster Hans, okay? Please help me to welcome Toastmaster Hans. Toastmaster Hans, the screen is yours. Okay, so hello everyone. Soon we will hear Toastmaster Fatma delivering her speech in her project Manage Change in level four of her dynamic leadership pathways. The purpose of this speech is for her to share some aspects of a change management plan. And her speech title is Embrace Change Through the Speech Craft Program. So Toastmaster Fatma, the time is yours. Thank you very much, Toastmasters Hans. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and soon to be Toastmasters. How are you tonight? I hope you are still excited to follow our meeting tonight. I will present to you 
about manage change in my prepared speech now. All right, let me start by asking you some questions. Raise your hands if you want to see the change in this world. Okay, let me see the people. Are they raising their hands? Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, let me ask you another question. Would you change yourself? Okay, I hope that will be another answer for the second question. All right. In relation to my questions, there is a quote from Mahatma Gandhi. He mentioned that, be the change that you wish to see in the world. It means that if you, or if we us want to see the change in the world, we ourselves need to change, okay? So the change cannot just eventually happen, but we ourselves need to change ourselves in order to see the change in this world. All right, but do everyone like change? Probably not, because there are some studies that show that humans are reluctant or resistant towards change. We do not really like change because change is not always leisure and fun. Sometimes, change makes us pressured. Sometimes change makes us anxiety because it is different because we are usually accustomed to what we have done before. Okay, even though change is not always laser and fun, it's not always fun, but change is usually the thing that can help us to grow. It is really important to help us to make up become better versions of ourselves. All right, when talking about change, let's also talk about change management because in change management, we can help ourselves to become more ready with the change and also to help us prepare better towards the change. It can help us to adapt towards the change instead of running away from the change. What should we do in the change management? We need to evaluate what change that can occur with the thing that can happen to us. Next, hmm, let's talk about the change that is happening right now in my life. There is a program that my friends and I are currently preparing and it is called the Speechcraft Program. When the first time I heard about it, I was immediately hooked and also excited because I knew that this program would be really advantageous for people. It will create change towards them. Hopefully, it will be great change that can be beneficial for them. And I believe that the change will not only occur to the participants, but also to me and also other participants um, and mentors or facilitators in that program. I hope that this change, such as commitment and also preparation that we will have throughout the program can trigger a better change towards our lives. Let me present to you some analysis that I think might occur towards the program, the change that will eventually happen to me because of this program. I am excited because it is a really nice program because we want to help people become better at their communication skills and also to boost their self-confidence in speaking in public. I think the change that will likely occur to me will be the first one is commitment because we know that it will last for two months and then we will have commitment towards the program and we will have different sessions in each week. The second one is that preparation. This is really, really important. There is another quote from Alexander Graham Bell. He said, before anything else, preparation is the key to success. Therefore, in order to make this program successful, I need to really prepare. The next one is the networking or the 
relationship that will I will create and sustain between me, facilitators, and also with the, the participants. Hopefully, I'm not only becoming the mentor, but also can be the brain for them, that we can share a lot of things. It's not only that we learn, it's not only that they learn from our program, but also we learn from them as well, how to become better as mentors, as facilitators. Hopefully, by analyzing this change that will likely occur, I can be more prepared when having this program and I can be more present and also focus when delivering the program for our participants. Hopefully as well that I can have more ideas on how we can become better in delivering a program that can create impact for people. It might not be a really, really big impact towards the world, the world or we might change the world, but at least we can create impact to the people that are, are involved in this program. All right, that's me talking about change and change management. What about you? Are you expecting change? Have you ever thought about managing change? Will you still be the change that you wish to see in this world? The question is, are we ready? Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Pastor Fatma Albert, your speech today. I realized that changing could resuscitate our best version. And then before we change anything, we could have better preparation because just like Alexander Graham Bell, yes, he says, a telephone inventor that preparation is a bad, uh, have a good step to, and then have uh, running our planning well. All right, we pass the volleyball to the next speaker, All right? The next speaker is Toastmaster Andy. He will be effort, effort by Toastmaster Dewey. Please help us to pass the ball to Toastmaster Dewey. Toastmaster Dewey, the ball is yours. Thank you, Tom. Happy morning, everyone. Please unmute yourself. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So tonight, I'm Nui from SCBD Toastmasters. I will evaluate Toastmaster Andika for delivering his speech in level four called Motivate Others. What do you have in mind when you listen to this phrase. Do, can you name someone who always motivate others? Perhaps it's Maria Teguh here. But after this speech, you may consider to replace him because Tosmas Randika is a human development practitioner. So we will get more insights into how to motivate others while leading a team. Without further ado, let's call upon the stage, Tosmaster Andika, Strive for Progress. Please, Tosmaster Andika. Am I audible? Fellow Toastmaster and guests, please type in the chat box if you know the missing word from this lyric. The lyric came from one of the most famous Disney song. When you wish upon a blank. Do you know the missing word? Please type in the chat box. Yes, star. Star is the correct answer. As leaders, we are required to motivate our team members to get the work done. And star is the key principles of how I motivated my team members in SCBD Toastmasters Club team building. STAR stands for S, stands for of belonging, T, tasks that are reasonable, A, all is transparent, and R, recognition. So fellow Toastmasters and guests, this is my story in motivating my team members in preparing for SCBD team building. So I would like to start with the first principle, the sense of belonging. 
I was the co-leader of the event with Dosmesser Dentia. So before the D-Day, we conducted several meetings. At the first meeting, I made sure that every committee members were on the same page. We had to believe in the same objectives. So the objective was to increase the engagement of the team and yet to give the member leisure time. So I listened to each of the committee member, to their questions, their concerns, and their feedbacks. By doing so, I created a sense of belonging within the committee members. This event should be our event, not only my event. And I was lucky because everyone in the team believed in the same purpose. So that was the first step that we made progress. And the second principle is T, tasks that are reasonable. When I assigned the task to the role takers or the committee members, I asked open-ended questions. Who wants to do what? So some of them chosen the roles based on their preferences. Though everyone was free to choose the role, I offered some certain roles because as a leader, I knew that they are familiar with the job. Yet, I clarified whether they wanted to take the job or not. And again, I was lucky because they agreed to do their jobs, which were the Zoom hosts. Then we made another progress. And also to be frank, I didn't aim for perfection in planning the event. I kept the task on a need to do basis instead of a nice to have basis. So by assigning reasonable tasks, the committee members felt comfortable and didn't get frustrated. The third principle is A, all is transparent. Maintaining transparency is very essential for the team. It makes the team more agile because sometimes I am the leader I didn't have all the answers that we need. The answers came from the committee members. That is why I kept being open for any feedback or question the members had. But the person I asked the most feedback was my partner in crime, Tosmesser Dentia. I made sure that she knew what I prepared and I listened to her feedback. And she also did the same thing. And I asked the other members frequently, not only during the meeting, but also through personal WhatsApp messages to see whether they had any burning questions. And some of them offered me suggestion how to make the even better. Again, so we made a progress there. And the last principle is R, recognition. All of the team members are millennials. Millennials appreciate recognition as the fuel of their work. So during the preparation, during the event, and after the event, I personally thanked my team members. They played very significant role in ensuring the event was success. Their contribution was so immense. So by showing recognition, it also recognized their progress. And I was very pleased. The event ran so well because 89% of our club members went there and participated. We received positive feedback from the participants and the event wouldn't meet its purpose if the team members were not motivated. Their high motivation, motivation was made of four principles, star, sense of belonging, tasks that are reasonable, all is transparent, and recognition. My fellow Toastmaster and guests, motivation is the force that inspires individual to progress. Let's not hesitate 
to use those four principles to motivate our peers. Because in Toastmasters, we empower individual to strive for progress. Back to you, Tom. Right. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Andika, about your speech. Yes, we know that Yeah, you made us realize about motivation, especially in this current situation. And we need some uh, to, uh, motivation and some inspiration to uh, step up from our lowest point of our life. Yes, all right. Uh, before we move to the next session, above of a uh, speaker are ever eligible to ask Master Astrid? Yes, the speakers are eligible to be voted. Ask Master Christopher. Okay, congratulations both of you about the eligible. And then don't forget to vote your best speaker. Right. Okay, one minute of silence. Okay, I think everybody already uh, for the best speaker. And then the last but not the least, we have the last session. We move to the last session. The last session is evaluation session that would be uh, evaluated by Toastmaster Hans and Toastmaster Dewey. Okay, please help me welcoming Toastmaster Hans. <coughs> oh. Okay. All right. Uh, yes. Before, yeah, you can continue. So it's my part, yeah. So good evening, everyone. Congratulations to Toastmaster Fatma for delivering your speech about manage change. <laughs> First, let's talk about the strong points from your speech delivery. So far, I can I can observe three things that you excel at. One, you excel at creating speech structure. Two, you excel at addressing the messages. And three, you excel at bridging between speech part. You have made the speech structure very well from greetings into opening questions and quotes, and then you start the main body about <laughs> change management. Your analysis, which includes three key points, commitment, preparation, and networking. And also the last part of the body, you conclude it with your room for improvement to be more prepared, more present, and more focused to create impact to the people. And you close it with powerful message. What about you? Are you expecting change? So that is a great way to structure your speech. And it is identifiable for us to learn about managed change. Also, your message is powerful. So you addressed in the beginning that be the change that you wish to see in the world, quoting from a public figure. And also, you persuade us to manage the change too. And also about bridging between speech part, you have smooth transition as we can hear. So the speech is well structured and still smooth. And of course, as every speech, there's always room for improvement. 
I would like you to use more vocal variety to drive the vibe. Because you have delivered powerful message, it will be more impactful if you can drive the audience's emotion more to address your message to be more powerful. I know it is a bit challenging, especially in this online situation where we are not in the same physical room with audiences. But you can try to practice more in terms of vocal variety. How can you add tension in certain part? And to challenge yourself, perhaps you can add more gestures too. Perhaps you can try to deliver your speech in standing position because you can deliver your speech with more degree of freedom. Yeah, you can move in one side, on another side. But of course, it needs adjustment as well as manage change. And after all, well done. Congratulations for your speech and would like to hear more from you in your next speech. Thank you. Back to our talk. Okay, for paradigm firstly for this session in act uh, to be honest, uh, led by RG. And then for this session, I uh, will be resumed by RG Postmaster Artila. The bar is yours. All right, thank you so much, Postmaster Christopher. So uh so the next schedule we have the second evaluators who is Toastmasters Dewey for evaluating Toastmasters Andika. Toastmaster Dewey, are you ready? Yes. All right. So the Zoom is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Atila. Um, what do you feel after listening to Toastmaster Andika's speech? Can I have Toastmaster Agung? Is Toastmaster, yeah. Can you, oh, sorry. Okay, I assume that everyone enjoys the the speech. Yeah, can That's you agree? Right. Okay, can you agree with me? Yes. Yay! Yes. 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 Awesome. <laughs> Since Tosmaster and Nika have star, I also have star. <laughs> First is as for sub superb. We have four points, and it is so easy to follow the whole of the speech. And T for tactful. You say that for from four points, you begins with you begin it with verb. So everyone can really follow it and use it in everyday life, like ask open-ended question and encourage transparency because all is transparent, right? And then A for a combo package because it's quite strategic and it's insightful. I don't know, it's it's just like a how-to tips when we can follow on Google. And the last one is R for ready to use, yeah. It sounds like I just re rephrase the word, but I have nothing to comment on how this really tactful, and I feel like I want to really apply it on a daily basis. However, for your future improvement, I would like to suggest some aspects. First. Perhaps you can try to adjust your composition because it is hard to see your hand gestures clearly because I can see that like this, this part, yeah. <laughs> and then perhaps you can highlight the impact of the project by moving the angle 
from the team members or participants how do they feel about their contribution contribution and your team building session right i was there too <laughs> but unfortunately you didn't ask me <laughs> and then um after that you can reveal the secret recipe how to to really motivate others and just right away by knowing the why people will be more curious to know the how right and lastly i think you can also ask a question in the middle of the explanation to check whether people still follow your, your speech because you know people perhaps lose their focus on some things so yeah better to check it but i'm glad that you summarized the whole of your speech all over again and congratulations for completing your project in level four yay i think that's all from me thank you All right, thank you so much, our evaluator Toastmasters Dewi for evaluating Toastmasters Anika. A session like this is very important in Toastmasters so that the speaker know what is the weakness and can improve uh, on the next uh, speech. So uh, I might ask the timer, do, do our speakers uh, eligible to be voted? Unfortunately, all speakers are not eligible to be voted because that their time is over. <laughs> All right, so we are going to have an absolute winner. Okay, so congratulations, Toastmaster Hans, for oh, being. No. Uh, I mean, Toastmaster Hans and Toastmaster Dewey oh. is, are not eligible oh, yes. because their I, times I, are over. I uh, never mind. Okay, so both speakers, both evaluators are the best i guess so thank you so much our evaluators for evaluating our speakers you both still very cool all right so okay so so i might be directly go to the evaluation session okay i might be sharing my screen okay this is our last session which is evaluation session before I begin with my eval the, before I begin with the whole evaluation from me, I might be calling first uh, my team. We, I have a NWOD counter who is Toastmasters Hugo uh, for explaining uh, his report. So I think Toastmasters Hugo want to share the screen. So I so I will be stop sharing mine. Toastmasters Hugo, the Zoom is yours. Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Atila. Is it visible, my, uh, my screen? Yeah, it's visible. Yes. Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Atila. Uh, here, I would like to report to you guys about the rep recapitulation of AH and WOD session. For the ta uh, table topic sessions, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, congrats uh, to all of you guys, uh, TM Clarissa, TM Fatma, TM Israki, TM Agung, TM Has, Mr. Swamintaya, TM Hugo, me as well, and Ola Dwinta. All of you have done your best, guys. You have such a great speech in your tablet topic sessions. And um, please applause. And um, Almost all of them, almost all of you, uh, you have said uh, less than five times mistake regarding ah, um, or unnecessary words or any other long pauses. But for uh, some of you, uh, I record um, Toastmaster Agung and then Mr. Swamintaya, you have nine ah, um, or unnecessary words and Mr. Swamintaya, you have said 
for about 11 times. Maybe for the next meeting, you can try it again. And before you speech, you can be, uh, you can have a, take a deep breath and then be focused and then you try it. And for long pauses, almost all of you uh, didn't do any long pauses uh, except Ms. Uh, Toastmaster Ishraki. Based on my report, you have said uh, you have done two times long pauses. And unfortunately, almost all of you uh, didn't say uh, our word of the day that is leisure. Uh, the only one, uh, the table topic session that said our we, WOD is only Toastmaster Agung. So congratulations, Toastmaster Agung. Uh, but overall, for uh, the eight of table topic sessions uh, speakers, you have done your great job. And then we move forward for the prepared speech. The, for me, uh, Toastmaster Fatma and Toastmaster Andika, both of you have done your best because all of you almost don't, didn't make any mistakes regarding ah, um, or an, any unnecessary word or long pauses. But unfortunately, I didn't hear any word of the day in Mr. Uh, Toastmaster Fatma's speech. Maybe I was mistake or I don't know. But I heard uh, Toastmaster Andika say uh, our word of the day leisure. And once again, congratulations for both of you, Toastmaster Fatma and Toastmaster Andika. And then for evaluate, uh, evaluation session, we have Toastmaster Hans and Toastmaster Dewey. Uh, I would like to say congratulations again for both of you because uh, both of you have done your best. You didn't have any, uh, you didn't have much mistake regarding A and W O D session because both of you uh, only said less than five times ah or any unnecessary words. Or in long pauses, I record uh, Toastmaster Hans did three times and Toastmaster Dwi uh, twice in the, uh, your speech. Uh, I assume that uh, these long pauses is when you will try to look at your note or something. And unfortunately, both of you, Toastmaster Hans and Toastmaster Dwi, uh, both of you don't use our word of the day that is leisure. So uh, maybe uh, for the next meeting, do not forget to use our word of the day. I think that's all I can explain about uh, the recapitulation of A and WOD session. And back to you, Mr. Uh, uh, Madam GE. Okay, well, I really love the spirit of Toastmasters who go, who, who, who were so deep, who were so brave to try this session. Uh, I believe that this is, uh, this is his first session to like trying to speak in our club, in our Toastmasters. So congratulations. Thank you so much for a very comprehensive uh, report from you. I really appreciate it. So, okay, we are moving on to our second uh, role, which is our grammarian. We have Toastmasters Mutia as our grammarian today. Uh, Toastmasters Mutia, are you ready? Yes, I will have my PowerPoint. All right, so share. I'm giving the control to Toastmasters Mutia. Is it visible? Yeah, it's visible now. Okay. So, hello everyone. We are now going to learn more about the grammar. As you guys know that half of good philosophy is... And congratulations for all the speakers that you've done a really great job to be brave to deliver your speech, whether it is an impromptu or it is a prepared one. So there are several things that I note down. And the first is be sure that the sentence has a subject and a verb 
for example, I will introductions, you see that in this sentence, you have no verb. And you can just change this introduction by using introduce. So the correct one will be, I will introduce. So to remind you again, be sure that the sentence has a subject and a verb. And the second is that problems with inverted subjects and verbs. We can see here that if the pandemic never happened, where am I now is in Bali? It will be a correct one if you invert this. If the pandemic never happened, where I would be now. So please remember to invert your subject and verb if it is in the sentence. And the second is problems with parallel structure. For example, if the pandemic never happened, you can see that it is a past tense. You can see that it is a past verb. But here, you can see that it is a present tense. So you should be more careful about that. And you should change this into a past tense. So if the pandemic never happened, where I would be now, And the third is, I do remember that his master Fatma said something about making an impact. And I love about that. It might not be a really big impact, but at least we make an impact. Wow, I do agree with that. This little change always matters, no matter how little it is. Okay, I think that's all that I can report over to you, general evaluator. All right, thank you so much Toastmasters Mutia for the really very insightful session. I believe that everyone here also agree with me. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, we have IWOD counter, we have grammarian counter. So I believe that this is my turn to give the report. Okay, so in the Toastmasters, uh, as the general evaluator, we have the responsibility to uh, take notes for that things that already have been uh, all right and some things that need to be improved. So uh, during this session, I observed that uh, many positive things and some side that needs to be take during the meeting. So uh, I will be starting with some the I will be starting with the pot the positive one. So uh, I observed in the beginning. Uh, our Toastmasters of the meeting informs us about what is Toastmasters and pathway. So I believe that this is a very useful, uh, actually for guests who has just joined Toastmasters or just know about Toastmasters. Okay, so this is a good one. Thank you, Toastmasters of the meeting. And then the table topic speaker, you bring the very fun topics and it's very relatable with our theme today. So I believe everyone Enjoy with the topics. Thank you so much, our table topics table topics master. Uh, and then for the ANWOD counter, we have Toastmaster Hugo, uh, who just who just show us uh, his report. And I believe that the report are very comprehensive and really um, give and can can give some in can give some inputs for the speakers and evaluators. So in the next meeting that we can be, um, we can be better. So thank you so much, our NWOD counter. And then for our timer today, Toastmasters Astri. Uh, Toastmasters Astri using uh, her background as the timer. So it, I believe it is easier for the speakers to notice about the remaining time. And then the ballot counter. Thank you so much for using uh, the, the external link so that we can use easier to vote. Thank you, Toastmaster Dini, for your link that appears on the chat box. Okay. And then 
I also appreciate all the speakers, all the prepared speech speakers who are very well prepared, Toastmaster Andika and Toastmaster Fatma. Thank you so much for giving your speech here in Metropolitan Toastmaster Scott. Okay, and some things that needs to be improved. I think in the beginning we have to, uh, we have time to, to, we have time more to like greeting some guests and like have a more chit chat in the beginning. That's, I think that will be bring a more, more, more enjoyment. I mean like more, I mean like more excitement in the whole session. And then uh, I believe that it must be uh, some mistakes about the SAA roles, like somebody who will like mention or um, remind about the about the things like mute unmute and the uh, and then the visibility of our faces and etc. But overall, uh, I believe that everyone here are happy with the meeting. Uh, so okay, so like. I think that's all from me. So I will be giving the floor back to Toastmasters of the meeting, Toastmasters Christopher. All right, what a nice version. Toastmaster Attila, thank you so much, Toastmaster Attila. All right, we have several um, information about the next meeting. Uh, please help me to share the screen. All right. Our brother and sister, if we so curious about Toastmaster and so intended to be our member, please don't be shy. Find us on our Instagram or our email, or you could reach our most handsome PPM, Toastmaster Paling Dungan. He will help you to answer the question about Toastmaster. All right, the next. All right, we have the next agenda. All right, as the information. In Metropolitan Toastmaster held at the meeting every second and four week on four week on Tuesday, exactly on seven until 9 p.m. on Zoom meeting. So please kindly join with us in the next meeting on. We have the next meeting on, yes, uh, yes, the second second week of September, we will inform from uh, to us by Instagram. Okay, stay tuned on our Instagram. All right. Okay. Mm. And then, oh yes, don't forget to follow our Instagram account. Yes, that you could uh, directly reach out your Instagram and then uh, quickly follow our Instagram, right? Yes, that's so nice for this summer. And then any question, I think. If we, uh, anybody don't have any question, I will pass back to our president, Toastmaster Attila, to close this meeting. All right, thank you so much, our Toastmasters of the meeting, Toastmaster Christopher. So I believe that this is the end of the session, but uh, I see some of, uh, I see some of new names here. I see many guests here uh, and I would like to ask some of you maybe I really curious with with you guys uh, how is your feeling during this whole meeting um, can I pick Faina Faradiena or are you there oh I'm sorry that okay okay my mistake so we skip one one rule which is the ballot counter so <laughs> I believe that this is uh, before I I have the chit chat with the guests. So I will be giving the control to our ballot counter, Toastmasters <laughs> Dini. Toastmaster Dini, oh, are you so ready? Much. Okay, thank you. Uh, sorry, sorry that. Yes, I'm ready. Um, All right, so the Zoom is yours, Toastmasters Dini. Yeah, well, thank you. No worries, no worries. So thank you so much, everybody. So it's time for the session. Uh, as you might be waiting for, let's just go ahead to our first best speaker from prepared speech session. 
we have two masters Andika. Congratulations for your achievement as the speaker. Probably our host or co-host can. Uh, Yay! Congratulations, Postmasters Andika. Postmasters Andika, and then the certificate. All right. Now let's move on to the next achievement for best table topics speaker. Since we only have two awards for best speaker and table topics. Now, let's see who's achieving the best table topics, which is Toastmasters Clarissa. Congratulations for your achievement as best table topics, Toastmasters Clarissa. Can host give a screenshot for Toastmasters Clarissa? Hi, Toastmasters Clarissa. Do you mind to open the camera and take the photo maybe with the certificate? It's been a long time. Uh, okay, we. I think Tosmasas Clarissa is not there, so a uh, ballot counter. You okay. may like continue the to the evaluate base evaluators. Uh, for the evaluators, since both evaluators are not eligible, so I assume that both evaluator are the best evaluator. So I think I'll stop here. Thank you so much, Tosmasas Attila, for the chance to give the awards to the Achiever, so back to you again, Tosmasus Attila. All right, so all the sessions are done. Uh, I might, if I may have time that I want to like have the voice for from the guests who attend the meeting. Uh, I see many names here. Okay, I want to hear maybe from Soon to be Toastmasters, Ola. Hi, soon to be Toastmasters, Ola. Are you there? Okay, we, we move to Toastmasters, Sinta. Hello, Toastmasters, Sinta. Okay, okay, okay. I will just skip to our visit, visiting Toastmasters. We, we 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 have so many visiting Toastmasters here. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, may I have this? May I have the uh, the voice of Toastmasters Fatma? Hi, Toastmasters Fatma. Uh, how are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you very much. All right. I believe that this is your first time joining in Metropolitan. Yes. All right. Flew flew away from Malang. Yes. Thank yes. you so much. Mm -hmm. This is the benefits of those masters. Uh, during this online session, we can just have uh, the meeting everywhere by just sitting in the comfort of your bed and like going to, going abroad, going somewhere else. We want to like give a shot to try table topics or maybe some prepared speech station. Okay, so uh, I believe. Uh, the the time is limited, so uh, can we have can we can we have a photo session before I uh, close the meeting? So I encourage everybody here to turn on your camera if possible. Uh, okay, and we we are going to take a quick picture. Okay, so everyone is here. Okay. Okay, 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 all right. So maybe Toastmaster Rita, would you help me to take the photo? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Okay. Okay, everyone, be ready. Three, two, one. Yeah, I got it. One more time. Okay. Three, two, one. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I hear. Uh, okay. So more information on the chat box. We since uh, in this meeting we have so many visiting Toastmasters Club, but uh, I I'm really sorry that we uh, we have we have the limited time. So maybe uh, you guys, if you want to go to another to another club, you can just check uh, like Toastmasters. Do we uh, send 
on the chat box. Here is the information of SCBD Toastmasters Club. You may check the Instagram and check the schedule and go going to another club. So thank you so much, Toastmaster Dewi, Toastmaster Fatma, Toastmaster Ishiraki, and everyone in here. So I hereby close the meeting with uh, the sound of this clap. Okay, the meeting is officially closed. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. And I will be giving back to James, to the Ad America team. Thank you so much. Have a good night. All right. Thank you so much to all our Toastmasters for today's very informative session. It's been great having you guys with us. Earlier in the event, we asked audience members a question. What is a synonym for letter? And the correct answer to that is option B, missive. Shout out goes to Star T from YouTube for answering correctly. And thank you to everyone who has participated. Don't forget to tune in next time for another chance to get a shout out from us. Earlier in the event, we mentioned handing out vouchers for TOEFL and an American standardized test of your choice. For further information, visit our link at atam.tv slash academia for more information. Now, you may be wondering, how could I develop an awesome idea for a place like this? It's very easy. All you need to do is go to our website at www.atamerica.or.id, select Create a Program, and click Collaborate with us. All event proposals coming to us will be reviewed, and your event might be featured here soon. You can also subscribe to our newsletter for all our weekly updates. That's it. That wraps this episode. It's been fun, but we have to say goodbye for now. Follow our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at 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 America for all our fun contents, event updates, and so much more. Thank you again, everyone, for joining. My name is James, and I'll see you at the next at America TV episode. Goodbye.